Hello everyone, Ray Pedras from the McAllen Cable Network here to tell you about a big event, the first annual Polo Extravaganza going on right here in the city of McAllen. That's right, Polo. If you haven't made it to one of their games, you need to check it out. Joining us right now to talk more about that event is John Eicher. He's a professional polo player and also, of course, Dr. Ramon Rodriguez. Welcome to the both of you. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks you. for joining us. You know, Polo's been in the Valley for a while, but not everybody knows that it's going on and there's a big event coming up. Yes, uh, we have a big event the 14th of uh, next month, um, and we play every Saturday and Sunday at Springfest Park, um, 3 o'clock on Saturdays and 11 o'clock on Sundays. April 14th, uh, Sunday, April the 14th. All right. Um, then this is free, I understand, free for the entire family. Yes, everybody can go free. Uh, we do have some sponsors that we want them to get involved, but... Um, the entrance is free for the whole community. We just want the more people, the better. That way we raise awareness in the community about, uh, you know, it's a sport, it's an option, and it's here in the Valley, has been played for uh, several years, uh, but lately we are injecting some energy into that game, and we hope that uh, people, young people in the community assimilate the sport, because I think there is a lot of potential in the area for that. Very good. For, for people out there who may not be familiar with polo, it's pretty much like soccer but on a horse, right? Yes, it's a little soccer, a little bit of hockey. Um, it's, it's, it's a game you play with space and, and the animal's the biggest dynamic, I guess, that you have. Wow, so you've been playing for a long time. Yes, I have. I have. I've been playing. I've been fortunate enough to, be, to play through college, national champion in college and uh, around the world. So, yes, playing a very long time. And, and so how many people are on a team and where do the teams come from to play down here? Um, there's four people per team. Um, they're sort of positions such as soccer. You have forwards and sort of your midfielders and your defensive people. Um, and you just and everybody is a team, but the the sport is so quick and changes so much. You do not keep your your same position. Everybody's constantly moving around. Um, and then we have people from San Antonio come play, nice. from Austin come play, um, and then we have some people from Dallas coming down as well this season. Nice. So it seems to be uh, growing somewhat in popularity. Um, what would you eventually like to see down here with polo? Well, the uh, one of the thing is that uh, we would like to see polo become uh, a regular sport in the area. Uh, something that uh, traditionally horses is involved in other type of a sport um, except polo. But some of these guys, they, they ride very good and you just have to give them a mallet, which is the stick and a ball and they will learn it. And hopefully, uh, maybe in the future, the city can build a horse uh, park where there is a polo field that people and that will make a polo accessible for, for people that at this point, you know, because it's an expensive sport, mostly because of the horses. Like each game needs like four horses uh, for each player. So, you know, and you need much more, uh, many more horses uh, to be able to have four horses ready. For, uh, for each game. So uh, if the city that have the land and uh, to uh, the city will not be that expensive because it's just uh, to maintain a, a big field of grass that you can use for other stuff like uh, conventions and you know other Sorry. events when there is no game. Uh, so I think that will be a multi-use uh, park with also the uh, option of a uh, horse park and some stables, maybe city rented. I mean, the more people get involved in the game, the better. So we're inviting like um, everybody from uh, the whole Rio Grande Valley, um, Stark County, Mission, McAllen, San Juan, West Laco, Harlingen, Bronzeville, even some uh, horses uh, uh, places from uh, Corpus, we invited some clubs in San Antonio, Houston, and Austin. And we hope they can make it. Uh, we put it free for everybody. And uh, you know, we do have the choice of a sponsorship if anybody wants to advertise in, during the event. But uh, it's for everybody to have fun. It's a family event. And um, it's just some other activity different in the Valley. And, and the Valley Polo Club is a nonprofit organization? It's a nonprofit organization. We do not make any money. Actually, it costs each one of the players a lot of money just to be in there, but we don't want to keep it a secret. Yeah. We've already been playing with, with teams from uh, San Antonio and Austin, but if you see some, some guys, they go stop by, they see it, they like it, and we say, you know what, uh, let's not be selfish. Let's put the word out. Uh, let's 
outreach to the people who can, uh, uh, you know, let everybody know that they can come and see it. It's free, and we plan to maintain it every Saturday and Sunday, and Sunday continuously, and make a good uh, season and bring other teams, and we will be going to some other places also, and. Well, what we uh, are able to get as a sponsor, we, we cannot keep it, we have to give it to a charity. Mm -hmm. For this event on April 14, we're planning, we are now in the process of selecting uh, like a charity organization. So we can also do, uh, um, it could be like a, a Cancer Center Foundation that we're talking to, pending, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, um, uh, approval by them mm -hmm. and that way we get more uh, like uh, you know more people there absolutely that's great that's great and it's also great I think that the uh, the McAllen uh, Convention and Visitors Bureau is, is promoting uh, sports diversity and, uh, and promoting uh, sports tourism to McAllen so I, I think we need to give props to them for, yeah. for, 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 for promoting this Right, yes, the, the Chamber of Commerce um, has been wonderful for us and helped us out a lot and um, just sort of pushed us in the right direction and helps our uh, players that come in town because we have people come in for the weekends uh, and they've you know gotten some vendors and gotten some places to stay and done some really good things for us with that. Nice. Getting back to the event on uh, April the 14th, Sunday, April the 14th, it's going to be at what time and around what, uh, how long do these matches last, or this match last? The, um, the gates will open at 1. Okay. Um, the match will start at about 3 o'clock. Okay. Um, average length will be an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes. Um, we'll do two periods where they're called chuckers. Um, there are seven minutes apiece, and then we'll have a halftime approximately 30 minutes. We have, uh, for a halftime show, we have some bike polo. It's really? going to take place, yes, yeah, some bicycle polo that the, the Chambers found for us, uh, a team down here, and gotten us um, those people to come. So we're going to have bike polo at halftime and maybe some, um, some horseback riding. Um, just so we know some people that will bring some horses out so you can just walk around and, and maybe get a feel of it. Very nice. And this is going to be at uh, Springfest Park. This is on uh, South 23rd. Not a lot of people know where, where Springfest Park is, right? I myself didn't know, but <laughs> once you get there, you, you can't miss it. You know, you take 23rd South uh, of the Expressway uh, 83, and you keep going. Uh, you see the airport on your left, La Pool on the right, and maybe like half a mile after a little bridge, you're going to see the park right there on the left. So a After you pass all the used car dealerships, <laughs> it's going to be on the left-hand yeah. side. Yeah. Yeah. Trust me, what, I mean, it's going to be a lot of people. It's going to be fun. And we actually invite every uh, vendor to come to the place, uh, uh, we may ask if you want, you know, maybe a donation directly to the foundation that we're going to uh, be uh, announcing okay. uh, later. Good. I love the flyer. It says dress code casual, and it's a great place for, for, for women to show their, their big hats. Yes. <laughs> yeah. right. Usually, uh, uh, the polo, you know, women, they love the sport because it's the only sport that we can, you can show some fashion. It's, uh, Excellent. You know, you show your hat like the movie Pretty Woman, and, uh, you know, we were even discussing that we should... Uh, 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 try to make a hat competition and the oh, woman, go. it's going to be difficult, it's going to be too kind of <laughs> a tense, the decision, so we probably just uh, pray some of the hats. Uh, I'm sure some that. ladies will show then, up out uh, there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, so h where do people call for more information or, or how do yeah. they get more information? Well, right now, what we have, the best place will be our website is www.valleypoloclub.com. Okay. Very easy. Uh, the site is on construction, but it has some general information. You have my number there, and uh, we can, we'll be happy to, uh, you know, discuss anything. Uh, we have the flyers that we're going to be uh, leaving some with you, so you can put it Absolutely. in the, uh, in sure. the uh, site. And um, if not any Saturday at 3 o'clock or Sunday at 11 o'clock, we are playing in the Springfest Park. Some weekends we have a team from out of town, uh, but, or other times we just uh, make a team from, from here because we have enough people for two teams and more. But we want more people. The more people, the better. So basically uh, any time that you see anybody on a horse, in those places, you stop them, you ask, because each one of our members is like a, an ambassador. We want to promote the game and is in the benefit of everybody and the community. All right, so is, uh, is there anything that we're leaving out, anything you think we should add? Yeah, well, uh, basically, uh, you say it uh, all right. Um, honestly, uh, 
we just want everybody to get there, have a good time. Girls, get your hat ready. If you don't have a hat, don't worry, you don't need it. Get a cap, get something, just get there. Get your girlfriends, your friends, your, your boyfriend, your kids, everybody. Your family is free for everybody. There is no hidden cost. Nobody's gonna charge you at the entrance for anything. And um, it's gonna be some water, food available because we're inviting vendors for free also. And they go and they offer their products. Uh, hopefully they will do some for free too. But um, we just want uh, you know, a good uh, family event. Uh, you know, to have fun the whole day, and uh, you will not regret it. It's going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be uh, something that you're going to hopefully have it every weekend. You know, Saturday and Sunday from now on. Very good, Dr. Ramon Rodriguez, and also John Eicher. Thank you so much for stopping by Valley Polo Club. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you, Ray, uh, for the opportunity for us to uh, actually um, come here. Uh, we really appreciate um, you and the. Uh, and Anytime. The, uh, City to uh, support uh, our cause because, uh, as you see, it's, it's not it's a non-profit. It's for the community, and uh, we really want to, uh, uh, especially uh, Ray and the team, uh, uh, to um, you know to be recognized. That we really appreciate that, and we hope you can make it to the event. Uh, we have uh, invitation for you. You're gonna have, you're gonna be in the gut in the good place. Okay. All right. Thank you all so much. Thank you. All right. And again, thank you, as always, uh, for watching. I'm Ray Pedraza on the McAllen Cable Network.